Today we'll be taking our first look at the Barreto 30-SG stump grinder. And this is a great machine because one of the attributes is that it's 100% hydraulic driven. There are no belts on here to slip. If you take too big of a bite out of the stump, instead of the belt slipping and getting burned up, this one will simply stop. Now obviously you don't want to keep overburdening the machine. That's just not good for the machine in any case. It's not a smart way to do anything. But this thing will take the abuse that a stump grinder needs to take and will make short work of this. It may seem that I'm cheating by saying that this is the first time that I'm actually going to be playing with this machine, but this was a demonstration that the guy who dropped off the machine did. And this took him about, I don't know, five, 10 minutes of stump grinding. Frankly, he was <laughs> having way too much fun, so he didn't stop. But we're gonna finish this stump off and I'm gonna go over uh, some of the great things about this Barreto SG30 or 30 SG, I should call it, and show you just how stable this is. I mean, this is the easiest machine I've ever seen to grind a stump. You don't do any work. You just stand there and let the machine go side by side. All right, so let's just start at the controls. Again, simplicity and intuitive operation. Forward, back. So this controls the left. This controls the right. If you want to go straight, you push them both forward. If you want to turn, you push one forward or the other one forward. I mean, it's as intuitive as it gets. As far as the cutting head, it has a safety switch on it. So it's a two position. You have to press this button and then you have to pull this as it shows on the label. And this will get the cutter going, okay? And once you get the cutter going, it's simply left and right left and right. Again, can't get any simpler. And this will raise and lower the cutter head. Over here we have a guard. We're just going to pull this guard out and make sure that we're stopping some of that chipping. Me personally, I don't like noise. I don't like getting hit in the face with things if they ricochet. So I'll be wearing my chainsaw helmet and uh, of course safety glasses and mask because, you know, why not? I'd rather uh, avoid an injury. This Barreto 30SG has a 31 horsepower electric start engine. So again, simple as can be. Turn the key, it starts. You've got your choke right here. Your throttle is right in front. So you'll just get the engine started and fast and slow. Again, super intuitive. All right, track driven, 100% hydraulic. We've got this beefy cutter head right here. Let me show you that. And now, let's stop talking about it and let's fire this thing up and see how it works in a realistic environment. Again, I'm gonna tell you this is the first time that I'm going to be using this. I haven't started it, I haven't moved it, I haven't done anything with it. This is exactly the position it was in when the salesman dropped it off. So all I did was put gas in the gas tank, which is extremely easy to fill. This is one of those things that people don't think about until they have to fill the gas and it spills everywhere. But this gas tank being on the side, access right from the top, again, these are the nice touches that Barreto does when they build their equipment. Besides the fact that they're built extremely rugged and 100% hydraulic, so you don't get all those failure points that you would normally get if you're using a belt-driven machine.
are, you probably saw there were a couple times I actually stopped the blade. But if you look, I'm in the most difficult part of the cut. I'm in a full cut and I was just going a little too fast. So the easy thing to do is just listen to the engine and when you're taking too big of a bite, just back off a little bit. Don't go side to side as quickly. And uh, then move it forward because right now you see I've got that full arc. I'm cutting probably half the blade at a time. So it's a lot of contact points. So now what I'm going to do is move the machine forward and bring that stump down. A lot of times with smaller machines, people will cut with a chainsaw and get it as far to the ground as possible. And that actually is a good thing to do if you don't have the power of the Beretto 30SG to grind that stump away, because it'll just take too long if you're trying to use one of those smaller stump grinders. All right, so I just want to point out how much less you're taking off. So when you come back up, you're just cutting a small part from here to here. But before I was cutting all the way from here, all the way up to here, that's a lot of contact for that blade. So that's why when you get deeper into the stump, you have to slow it down and you have to take smaller bites because it'll just stop the machine. It's just too much force on that cutter head and you're just cutting too much to expect that mach machine to handle it, or any machine actually. All right, I just want to show you that this is really a pretty massive stump. And you can tell by that tree, it's a, it's a big tree. So we've got the stump all the way hanging out from here. Okay, so this is a big old root. So we're gonna start, we want to tear it up starting here. Okay, and then we're gonna get it down but you can see we gotta bring it all the way out to here. So when you're measuring these stumps out, you can't just measure the top. You have to look at how far you have to extend to get these stumps fully out of here if you wanna do a proper job grinding this stump out. So I'm probably gonna do about, I don't know, three quarters of it. And I'll switch over to getting rid of these logs so I have space and uh, be able to come at it from the opposite side as well.
right, let's take a look at where we are so far because this thing is taking a big, big bite. You know, you look at how much wood we're removing and uh, without a large machine like this, without a large powerful machine, you're simply not going to get this type of root out of here. I mean, this uh, stump, I mean, because we're pulling this stump out all the way down into the root and it's below the surface. And you can see just how big the stump gets when you start going below the surface. It's massive. So you have to have a machine like this. You need the power, you need the size to get side to side. But I'll tell you, the thing about this machine is that there's no vibration coming through the handlebars. A lot of times as you're using these machines, even if you're not doing the work, there's a lot of vibration. The surprising thing with this Barreto 30SG is the vibration level is non-existent and it's just so easy to use. It's just intuitive. The controls, the hydraulics allow you to moderate the, uh, the swing so as you're going you hear it start to load down as you get to the middle. It's easy to slow down and then just go slower through the uh, massive part of the stump. And then as you get to the edges, you can speed it up. So it's very easy to uh, modulate that speed because the hydraulics, the controls, are very high end on this Barreto machine. Yeah, it looks like I lost battery for the last part of the stump grinding. But here's the results. You can see this thing is nothing but shredded wood and we're way down there. You can see just how deep this thing gets. You know, it's really the difference between one of those handheld units, it's more like a lawnmower, and a true industrial type of stump grinder. So this Barreto 30SG stump grinder is an amazing machine. It works really well. And the, the funny thing is, I actually got cold while I was using this. Normally when I'm out working, I don't get cold, I, I tend to get hot and you're usually taking clothes off, but I mean, frankly, there's no work to be done. You just stand there and then go left and right, up and down with the levers, and uh, it, it's not physical at all. It doesn't vibrate, it doesn't shake, it doesn't buck around. It, it just can't get any easier to get a big old stump ground down. And you know, keep in mind, this is a big tree. You, know, you can see just how big that tree was and how far the uh, stump was spread out. So it was a lot of work and it's a hardwood tree, so it's not some soft pine. So anyhow, Barreto SG30, it will do the number on any type of stump and it'll make your life easy. It's a great machine.